What a gentleman. <laughs> got some breakfast this morning with my friend Amanda because it is now Thanksgiving week so she had off of work and so do I so got breakfast and then I'm just picking up some groceries right now for some of the things I'm gonna make for Thanksgiving slash make them just because I want to um so picking up groceries and then I'll probably go home and start making some of the things I need to make for Thanksgiving. And then honestly, this will probably be a two day video because some stuff I won't make until tomorrow. So, but this is the first half of the video is breakfast, getting groceries, and then probably starting on some of the food today. Um, so yeah. Okay, um, I just got back from picking up groceries. So I figured I would show you what I got. So I got like kind of the basics like eggs. I got some different oat milks for the different things I'm gonna be making, different recipes. I got some prosciutto, um, some peppers. I've been making like a Cajun dish recently to go with like this sausage and stuff. Got a few different butters for the different recipes I'm gonna be making like for Thanksgiving. And then I got some gluten-free bread and some cornmeal for the gluten-free dairy-free dressing that I'm gonna make. Um, I've never made dressing period. So my first go at it is gonna be gluten-free dairy-free. So we'll see how that goes. And then like standard, um, some canned stuff gluten-free pretzels, some chips, and then I got kind of like my dessert things. So I've never tried the King Arthur brownie mix, but I'm excited to try those. And then I'm gonna be making like some lemon cupcakes, like gluten-free, dairy-free lemon cupcakes with like a lemon frosting. So that's what like the sugar's for. Got like lemon extract, vanilla extract, all the goods. Um, and then I got some more dates because Ryan and I like to eat these. And then I also make like my date balls, like chocolate date balls. So got some more of those. Um, so yeah, kind of a hodgepodge of things, but some of this is just for like regular meals, like pizza and like my Cajun dish that I've been making. And then some of it is like specifically for like the Thanksgiving stuff and like desserts I'm gonna try to make. So that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So like I said, I am going to try and make a gluten-free, dairy-free dressing for Thanksgiving for myself, pretty much. Um, no one's asked me to make this. I just feel like I want to make it for myself. Um, so I'm actually probably going to get started on that because a lot of the things you have to like go ahead and cook it the day before you kind of like assemble all of it and like let everything dry out like the bread and cornbread like let it dry out the day before apparently according to the recipe so I'm gonna go ahead and make the cornbread and then I think I'm just gonna basically have to like dry out the gluten-free bread and the cornbread that I make so I'm gonna have to make the cornbread here in just a minute but I'm also going to eat lunch and stuff as well so I'm gonna go ahead and film all of that I've also got the princess switch happening on Netflix right now normally I do not like the cheesy, corny Christmas movies, but I'm in that mood today. So I've got the cheesy Christmas movie going on on the TV and I'm gonna start making the cornbread. out of the oven um, and then I've gone ahead and chopped up all of the gluten-free bread that's gonna go in it so this is the brand of bread that I use is this Char gluten-free brand and this is what the recipe called for so I just went with that so now I've got to basically dry out the bread um, so this is gonna go in the oven at 250 um, for about 45 to 50 minutes to dry it out and basically the goal is to get this to be almost like croutons and then I'll also need to dry out this so this will need to be cut up and cubed and dry dried out overnight. Okay, so I think that's all that I need to do today to like prep for tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow when I put this all together. And I'm back. So it is the next day and I'm going to finish up making my gluten-free dairy-free dressing. And then I'm also going to start on some gluten-free dairy-free lemon cupcakes with lemon frosting that I'm gonna try. So, super excited about those. So I have the 
cornbread and the little bread crumbs drying out or they dried out overnight. So that was done yesterday. So I basically am going to start the second half of the dressing and then start on the cupcakes as well. Maybe I'll make the cupcakes first because they're gonna have to cool and dry before I can do icing on them. So maybe I'll get those ready first um, and that way they can be cooling while the dressing is in the oven. But I'm going to get started. <music> cupcakes are in the oven so I'm going to start on the dressing I believe um, well actually I have to make a simple syrup first for the cupcakes it's just like lemon juice and sugar that I think is gonna go right on top of the cupcakes when they're out of the oven so I've just got to heat this up and then I'm gonna get started on the dressing and then by the time that the dressing is done or that the dressing is ready to go in the oven, then the cupcake should be ready to come out of the oven. So I'm going to get to work on the dressing and see if I can get this going. <laughs> My dressing is ready to go in the oven. I feel like such an adult and I'm actually using my like casserole pan from our wedding registry. So I really feel like an adult because I'm using an actual nice casserole dish. I'm such an adult. Okay, the dressing is in the oven. So I think what I'm gonna do now is, A, I need to clean up because there's a lot happening in this kitchen right now. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to take the cupcakes out of the actual like cupcake tin um, and probably put them on like a cooling rack to try and let them cool faster because I can't frost them until they're actually cooled. So I'm probably gonna clean up and then let those cool, like take those out of the actual cupcake tin and then start making the lemon frosting for the cupcakes.
Moment of truth. Which one? Babe, do you want to try one? Bottoms up. Go. Oh, good. You want to try? <laughs> eat it. Oh. You're going to eat it and you're going to like it. What's the verdict? <laughs> do you like it? Mm. Yeah, let me do another bite. Mm. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I will link the recipe below. I just followed one from Pinterest and it was pretty easy and like pretty minimum ingredients. So I'm so excited. These are so good. It's so good. So impressed. I probably could have taken the actual cupcakes out like a minute or two earlier and I think they would have been a little bit softer. Ryan says they're good. Yeah, I just don't like lemon that much. Yeah, he's not a big lemon person, but so you like them? Yeah. Can you tell that they're gluten-free, dairy-free? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, woohoo! Have you reviewed the brownies? Ryan These is... taste exactly the same as <laughs> the other ones. The brownies that I made, I just used like the King Arthur brownie mix and they taste exactly like normal brownies if you've never had the... <laughs> Heidi, what is he doing to you? Maybe Heidi wants a cupcake. <laughs> Heidi would love a cupcake. Yeah. No, the brownies are the King Arthur brand. Um, if you've never tried them, they're really good. And they're very like fudgy. They're really good. Ryan approved. So if Ryan can't tell the difference between gluten-free, dairy-free desserts, brownies, or cupcakes, it's pretty good. Wow. Family. <laughs> Heidi, you poor thing. She just goes, mm. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Heidi.